what's up guys in today's tech tip i'll be showing you how to install and set up any desk on your windows 11 computer first step is to open your favorite web browser and then just do a quick google search of any desk and then select the anydesk.com option it could be the first one as well So there is the AnyDesk website. I will leave a direct link to this website in the description below. Anyway, as soon as you access the website, the website will automatically detect that you're using Windows operating system, as you can see, and prepare the relevant download for you. Now, all you need to do is click on download now and the download should start. Choose the location where you want to save your download and then click on save and allow the AnyDesk exe file to be downloaded. Now, once it's downloaded, you can simply click on it. Alternatively, you can navigate to your download location, find it there and double click on it. Either way, it should launch AnyDesk, as you can see. Now, at this point, AnyDesk is usable, but it's not properly installed on the computer. We actually just downloaded an exe file. You can use AnyDesk, but if you delete that downloaded file, then you'll not have any desk anymore. If you want to permanently install any desk on the computer, go ahead and click on this little uh, orange button. It says install any desk on this device. So click on that and then choose your installation options, whether you want to create a start menu shortcut, a desktop icon, any desk printer, all this stuff. Unless you have a specific need, then you can leave everything exactly the way it is and click on accept and install. And then of course give permission and uh, let any desk get installed onto the computer and once any desk is installed you'll even now see a desktop shortcut anyway let's close this uh, welcome screen and let's go back to the new session page so now this is your any desk interface this is your address and this is the address you share with people who want to connect to your computer and if you're the one who wants to connect to another computer, then that computer should give you its AnyDesk address. And then you enter it here and then try to connect. So let's try this very quickly. So I have my Mac on the side. Let's try to connect to my Mac. So I have AnyDesk installed on my Mac and I have the address. And all I need to do now is put in the AnyDesk address of my Mac here. And then hit enter. And it's going to try to attempt connecting to my Mac. And on my Mac, I should see a request like this. It tells me this address computer would like to view your desk. So you can go ahead and either dismiss, decline or accept. So let me just accept. And once I do that, you should be able to see on the Windows computer that I'm connected. And now my Mac desktop is visible on my Windows computer. So I can even control things on that Mac remotely using any desk. As you can see, I can drag things on the desktop. I can open folders. I can drag the folders around. And as I do this on any desk on my Windows 11 computer, the same exact thing is happening on the Mac desktop. Now, if I want to, I can even record this session, what I'm doing on this Mac computer or rather on any desk. And there's so many tools you can use here on any desk. Now, once the other user on the other end is happy, they can disconnect. And once they disconnect, the image from the Mac will disappear and it's gonna say session closed. You can go ahead and click okay or retry if you want to regain access. And that's how to access another computer using any desk on your Windows 11 computer. If you want your Windows 11 computer to be accessed, then you have to share your own address with that other person using the other computer and then they'll request then you'll have to accept and then they can see and control your computer remotely and that's basically how to install and set up any desk on your windows 11 pc thanks for watching leave your comments and questions down below and good luck